I was damn late. It was a busy weekend and I had a few hours of sleep. Bloody hell, I had a flight to catch for 8 a.m. <laughs> Considering the fact that I live in Lagos, you can't predict traffic. And if you don't know, Lagos has the worst history of traffic jam in Africa. I rushed, gathered all my travel kits, made sure I traveled light as usual. Well, you know, I travel light. People think I don't, but I, I travel light. The only thing that takes all my load most times are my travel rigs, my equipment, cameras, drones, blah, blah, blah. You know these stuffs. My only prayer was that I didn't forget anything and hope for less congestion on the road. But lo and behold, Lagos did its thing. Okay, on the other end is radio one of my travel buddies. He formed serious guy and was already at the airport when I was leaving my apartment. I'm in traffic calling Princess, another travel buddy of mine. We were supposed to embark on this journey together. Apparently, she was stuck in traffic like I was. And that's really over there, at the window seats, worried about me and Princess, thinking we were going to miss our flights. Well, to cut the long story short, radio landed in Igu safe and sound. And did I catch my flight? Look at you, thinking I missed my flight. <laughs> How? It was a miracle. What about Princess? She miraculously found her way to Enugu on the same flight like I did. The energy was positive all through while we were waiting for our host to come pick us up at the airport. When you see somebody like her in Nigeria, you think she's from the east, like this is where she came yes. from. Yes. Am I lying right? Yes. Yes. She looks Sorry. like... She looks Igbo. Igbo. Yes. You look very, very Igbo. I was very surprised this morning when you told me that you're from... My name is Tai. Your name was, your name was Ogun what? Agumbiade. Agumbiade. I was about to hear Chinyere, Chiamaka or something. Like, <laughs> I swear, that was... I was I thought that was her name or something, but glad when you know good with radio first time. Radio, I met radio on Instagram. Radio has amazing content, and um, I, I said, man, first time I, he said me up, I was like, guys, let's collaborate, let's do something great. And today, we're making it happen right now. We're making it happen, man. It's um, it's amazing, and we're not just doing it alone. We're doing it with several people. Like Let our former, Mr. former Miss Nigeria, Miss Grand Nigeria, Miss Grand Nigeria. Let's farm, let's farm, 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 farm. Ah, we're waiting for the driver. In the process, I met new friends who were embarking on the same adventure with us. Meet Midi and Chiamaka. Don't they look sweet? Our host hadn't arrived yet, so in the process, we went to Enugu Mall with a popular roller coaster landmark and got some food for the journey I'm about to unveil. By the time we were back with the food, the host had arrived and our five hour trip to Obudu began. You would ask me, why Enugu? Since Obudu is in the same cross river state like Calabar. It's the same question everybody was asking me before I booked my flight. Well, the closest airport to Obudu town is in Enugu, not Calabar, or cross river state. It's an eight hour road trip from Margaret Echo Airport to Obudu. Margaret Echo Airport is the airport in Calabar. While on the other side, Enugu's Akanu Ibiam International Airport, I hope I pronounced that right, takes about 5 hours to Obudu, a freaking 3 hour difference. You would ask me why, I have no idea, one of the wonders of geography. Whew. Okay, the journey has started and at this particular time, Google Maps was saying 3 hours, although at this point we have used 2 hours and some minutes on the road. But it was fun filled all through, although some of us dozed off at some point. But that's understandable, yeah? So, we arrived at the Great Obudu Conservation Center. I used to call it Obudu Cattle Ranch before. I guess it changed the name later. I'm not sure. But we arrived at the Great Obudu Conservation Center. And our first reaction was the same as everybody. This is heaven on earth. We all rushed down from the car and everybody's travel photography skill was activated. You. you know what? I should pause now and do some bureau. But if you wanna go sometime if you wanna leave this town Baby, I'm lost, I'm fading now Baby, I'm lost, I'm fading now Tell me if you wanna go sometime Yeah, we could be alone tonight Baby, I'm lost, I'm fading now Baby, I'm lost, I'm fading now He chanced me to start shooting this morning. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. It's day two in Obudu. Conversation 
resort whatever <laughs> i've been confused with yesterday because before it used to be obudu cattle ranch so we are at uh, obudu conservation center and uh, it's awesome this morning like guys check this out let me show you how beautiful nigeria is right on top of the mountains check it out you can see like the clouds are on the mountain and radio had to like Take a picture. Good morning, like, I must. <laughs> I, feel, I feel kind of summer. I'm wearing the same clothes I wore all yesterday, but something happened. I had to just sleep, as in, I didn't want time to go out the bath because it's cold here. Like, so I just had to like quickly wear my trousers and take this picture before the sun rises. I thought the only place we had this kind of views were in Cape Town, but come on, they're in Nigeria, and uh, I'm excited that I'm here right now and. I'm about to take a picture. Check him out. He's so excited. <laughs> so, basically, the thing is, mm -hmm. I feel so amazed and I'm happy I'm saying this because I see this a lot on Instagram, YouTube, and everywhere. Different people with different landscape and these kind of pictures and videos. But I'm grateful to God that I'm able to witness this and have this too. You said it's picture time. I need to get my own bucket shot. <laughs> Check this out. Radio giving us that badass, uh -huh. that badass heavenly shot. Uh -huh. Oh my goodness. Uh -huh. I can't wait to use this. You see, the cool thing about vlogging with filmmakers is that you have the opportunity to get your own dope shot also. So, right now, <laughs> radio goes, when I go back inside, I am, <laughs> I am, I am devouring that cat. I'm about to find somebody's struggle right now. <laughs> she doesn't want us to disturb her video. I want to disturb her video right now. BD. How are you feeling this morning? I will push you. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I don't like giving my laugh sounds. What's that? So, that's how adventure started proper. I think I'll just stop this narration for now. Yo, bro. How you feeling? I'm good. You can even use it for a road walk. You just jump. We are going to have to have So, come on and snap this Take pictures here, right? Yes. Okay. Um, here, we are at the entry point of the women's woodlock program which Nella Duke Kweyong created we are trying to protect this little patch of forest down here we'll be walking down there we have here one of the volunteers the team lead that helps us protect this forest his name is Kinsley hi Kinsley so, so we're walking down the hill to the women's woodlock and here yeah, we're excited Busayo is here yeah. Yeah, we all worried about you yesterday. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I'm here, I'm safe. Exactly. Who's here? Who's it on my face? How the hell did I miss Busayo? Let's go back to it. Busayo. We were supposed to meet her halfway during the journey, but it got too late, so she had to lodge in an hotel nearby. But she met us the next day, and yeah, she joined into the phone, and it was positive. All Radio true. setting up. Yo, I'm getting ready. ready. I'm ready. Let's, let's go fire, bro. Let's Who go needs fire, our next shots? Exactly. Shoots for a living. <laughs> all right, so we're walking down right now. We're ready. Yes. With all the here. stress I went through yesterday, hey. I was like, if I did not make it here, I will just cry. She just want to show me. Calm. Guys, we're currently at the Women's Woodlock. My name is Princess Agumbiade, and I am Royal. I A M M Royal on Instagram. Follow me, guys. Please, guys, don't follow her. You had gorillas here. Yeah? We used to. They are not here because of the human settlements around. Oh. So that's why we're here. But they used, yeah, to, be they used here. to be here. Gorillas. Gorillas. Yeah. Damn. Remember, I told you about our host. Yeah, that's Dan. I should say it's the best host in the world. Very amazing human being. It's a, a bit the trip. <laughs> the, the trip, trip right? and then it's the road is not too accessible like that. Okay. So, except you have a truck. 
like ours. Yes. <laughs> so that's the wildlife. I think I, one thing I used to invest as a vlogger is to get a truck. Yes, yeah, so the, get the truck. Driving an SUV is not enough. Call it the women's woodlock because it's an initiative that mm -hmm. the Obudu Conservation Center developed that the community does not have a sustainable livelihood. So they go into the forest, do hunting and use for firewood. Okay. So we are trying to find a sustainable uh, way of living. Okay. Apart from hunting, maybe uh, devoting to farming. Okay. Because this weather is actually good. You can plant strawberries. We we ha we actually have a farm for strawberries. For strawberries, well, wow. Our farm, farmer is not our. We are off season at the moment. Mr. King's is about to educate us. And now I was thinking people will come earlier than this. So we'll get inside the forest. At the time we used to meet the antelope and other animals because they are in the wild instinct. It's not certain that if we go there, we will see them. But at times when we leave very early in the morning, we used to come across uh, some of them. Here is the end of the forest. The other side is the extension part, the place we are trying to protect as well. And then at the front there is the tip of the forest. Oh! Sometimes I look at divas like you trying to vlog, and I'm like, oh, isn't this cute? <laughs> And I say that it doesn't look like you're suffering. Look at this picture. Oh, oh, the picture is beautiful. I love it. Woo. If you guys think it's easy to hike, it's not. It looks fun on pictures, but not easy oh, to hike, man. Like See the way I'm breathing. I need to start working out serious. Anthony, it shows how it shows how when guys literally sweating. How am I like, sweating? I can see the sweat. They're gonna rolling down his. Oh. How am I sweating? I'm not. Why? Okay, uh, I need to stop here because I've reached the 12 minute mark for the vlog. You know, I care about you guys' data. But stay tuned guys, this episode will be continued in a few days.